In Guinea, just outside its capital, Conakry, colourful pirogues are venturing out for their trips to the fishing grounds. As in many other countries in this region, Guinea's coastal population depends on fishing as a vital source of income and protein. But the fishermen and the people that depend on their catches are finding that business is becoming worse every year. The boats are having to sail further from shore, yet are returning with smaller catches. <laughs> The cause of the declining catches can be found just a short distance from shore. Only local fishermen used to harvest these waters, but today a fleet of vessels operates here, fishing without a license. Some are industrial-scale trawlers, others barely seaworthy ships, crewed by fishermen from half a world away. Many of the boats are Chinese or Korean owned, but fly the exotic flags of countries such as Panama and Belize to avoid rules and regulations. Local fishermen cannot compete against the size of the trawler nets. The fishermen on board these ships are only interested in particular types of fish. The rest of the marine life goes overboard as waste. Occasionally, one of these pirate fishing vessels is caught. This Korean ship was arrested in 2005 for fishing only four nautical miles off the Guinean coast. The ship owners were fined and its cargo confiscated. A new coastal surveillance system, supported by foreign aid agencies, has been set up to monitor illegal fishing operations. La base, la base, la base. The system is based on the cooperation between coastal bases and local fishermen. They have been trained to use GPS and radio in order to report locations of fishing ships. But at present, none of the bases are fully operational. Their equipment is badly in need of repair and many lack the fuel to conduct patrols. And the pirates have indeed returned. Over the past few weeks, Greenpeace, in collaboration with the Environmental Justice Foundation, has been collecting evidence on illegal fishing operations in Guinea's territorial waters. Among the ships found was the Lian Run No. 14, one of a family of Chinese vessels observed in the area. After Guinean officials boarded the vessel to inspect their documents, the ship was placed under arrest and ordered to return to Conakry. This arrest may have been a small victory in the fight against illegal fishing, but for every ship caught, dozens of others continue to fish unpunished. Many pirate fishing vessels illegally transfer their catches to so-called reefer ships out of sight of the authorities. These reefer ships continue to offload their fish here at Las Palmas in the Canary Islands. This Spanish port has become an important centre for maintenance, supply and refuelling of these fishing fleets. Most of the catches offloaded here are destined for the European Union. And so fish that should have fed the people of Guinea ends up on dinner plates around Europe. If governments don't take concrete measures against pirate fishing, such as clothing their ports and their markets to illegally caught fish, the marine environment and the local fishing communities will not be able to survive. Not just in Guinea, but in countries all along the West African coast, communities are feeling the impact of pirate fishing. Their future depends on international cooperation and the strict enforcement of rules to make piracy history.